Paul Gaze with Coastal Carolina University tells me the balloon is likely made out of heat resistant synthetic materials. He says in terms of environmental impacts, it's important to put the situation in context, saying the number of missiles fired for military training every year will have more of an impact than, than the one missile fired on Saturday. Debris scattered 15 football fields by 15 football fields across the Atlantic keeps U.S. Navy sailors busy as their search for remnants of the Chinese balloon continues. The balloon was estimated 200 feet tall. To put that in perspective, the Myrtle Beach Skywheel is 187 feet tall. As we wait to find out what the balloon was made of and what was inside it, questions about possible environmental impacts emerge. You've got materials within the missile, you have materials within the, the, the payload for the balloon and then the balloon itself. So lots of, of different things that may find their way to the ocean. Paul Gaze is a marine and wetlands expert who says the parts of the balloon that weren't destroyed by the missile inevitably fell 60,000 feet into the ocean. But because of the balloon's altitude, any toxic chemical compounds were diffused into the atmosphere. Batteries and solar panels and things have some heavy metals and, and other kinds of concerns, but uh, even though it was a fairly large payload, um, the uh, uh, presumption is a fair bit of it had been ex exploded, essentially, and, and distributed. You know, what, what gets to the ocean and what concentration remains to be seen. Gay says anything in high concentration is a concern, but if it's distributed throughout the atmosphere, there's less of an impact. He says since it was only one balloon and one missile, he's more concerned with... The overall pressure on the environment and, and the nature that it experiences every day. I mean, there are introductions to things into the ocean and the atmospheres daily, and they've gone on for, you know, decades. Gay says if the balloon had solar panels and batteries on it, those materials have to be made from lightweight metals in order for the balloon to be able to fly at such a high altitude.